Yo, what up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a reverb sand in FL Studio 20. It's super easy to make and there are a lot of benefits to uh, having one. So let's jump into it. I have this little percussive pattern here that we'll be using as our example. So let's just take a quick listen. Okay, cool. So the first thing you want to do is just highlight your samples, hit control L, and that will automatically route them to the mixer. Next thing you want to do is just grab any blank mixer track, doesn't matter which one. I'll just grab insert eight and I'll hit F2 to name it. We'll name it reverb and I'll color it red. Now you want to open up your plugins and grab Fruity Reverb 2. Okay, so this is um, a very important step. You want to just lower your dry all the way and raise your, your wet all the way up. Now, the reason why we do this is because we're going to be routing our dry signals into this reverb sand. So we don't want to be mixing two dry signals. That's kind of pointless and defeats the whole purpose of this. So yeah, make sure the dry is all the way down and the wet is all the way up. And the rest of this stuff is all to taste. You can do whatever you want with that. Okay, so moving on, next thing you want to do is click on your samples and then click on this little arrow on your reverb send and click route to this track. And we're going to do that for each sample. And make sure you hit route to this track and not route to this track only. It's very important. Okay, so now when I play this, it's going to be like drowning in reverb. Okay, so that's way too much reverb. So what we can do is this acts as our send. How much basically is how much of our sample are we sending to the reverb? So when it's all the way up like this, we're sending the whole sample, um, the whole signal to the reverb. So we just want to send a little bit to the reverb. Now, maybe some samples you, you want to send a little more, maybe about half of it. You know, it's all up to you, whatever, you know, whatever the track calls for. But um, yeah, so just so you know, this is you're sending none of the signal to the reverb send. And now you're sending all of the signal to the reverb send. So you got that. Okay, so we'll take a listen again. It should sound much better. Okay, cool. So so yeah, so like the reasons why we do this is one, it saves CPU power instead of adding four different reverbs to, you know, every single track. We just create one reverb send and then send the four samples to that track. Um, and it also makes sense in a, a lot of situations where you have like maybe a big string section or a, like layered leads or in this case uh, percussion that you, you kind of want those um, sounds to live in the same space. So um, that's another reason why you might want to create a reverb send. So yeah, I hope this video helped and uh, thanks for watching.